Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Regiments. The uh, the game that is developed by, well, as far as I can tell, a one-man band. And I think that's still really impressive. Now, today we are looking at the different game mode, Mobile Defense. Use the provided transport platoons to evacuate equipment from the designated zones and return it to the starting zone. Deploy rapidly to meet enemy attacks. Your allies won't be able to survive them alone. I'm going to be playing as NATO, as the second armored cavalry regiment, and this is going to get me command over, uh, from what I'm able to gather, veteran M1A1s. I get M2A1 command Bradley. I get Vulcan anti-air M109A3 artillery, which are almost as expensive as my tanks, by the way. And a couple of M3s. I also get access to area reconnaissance and artillery smoke. Plus, of course, whatever other battle group or task force I decide to attach to my group. The enemy is going to be the Warsaw Pact. And currently there are two different battle groups that the AI can then pick from. Right, what's the situation? The way that this game mode works is that over here I have a couple of transport groups. I have two transport groups and one uh, supply group of my own. This is used to just resupply units in the field. But the transport groups are very important in this game mode. Because over here you can see the uh, a sector called Zeta. And there's another one here, Beta. What I need to do is move my transports to those positions. And you're going to see that the 100 points which are currently sitting in these sectors are going to tick down. Once they're down to zero, I can actually call the, even, the transport back to the starting zone, which is here. And then I'm going to be gaining points. This is the way that you gain points in this game mode. Of course, the enemy's task is to make sure I don't get away with it. So they're going to keep pushing hard from the area over here. In the area over there. Now I have command over tanks. I don't have a whole lot of points and um, ideally I would be covering this with an infantry group. This is a reconnaissance group and this is such a heavily armored battle group that it does not come with any kind of infantry at all. So it's going to be an M1A1 group here and I'm trying to cover the other side as well but they can come from two different areas. Now my allies have Leopard 2A4s in the position here, so they might not need as much support. They also got Leopard 1A4s over here and here. And let's just put my tanks over there with a couple of M3A1s in support. Reconnaissance Bradleys, and these guys are armed with autocannons and the Ito AGGM. So it's not the quite the toe 2, it's not going to be as powerful. And I might not have these guys hold fire because I do like to have those assisting ITOs and more importantly, the autocannons. Alright, uh, that's pretty much all my points gone. I'm going to have to wait for more points to come in, so let's kick it off and get going. I'm going to move my supply a bit farther forward so that I can get quicker access to it. And in a few more points, I'm going to immediately call in another group, um, the other M3, to scout out over here. The Allies have the Panzer Grenadiers, but they're still... Are they inside or outside? They're outside the vehicles, but you can barely make them out. And the Leopard 104s are in position. They got Fuchs with the Jaeger. Here are the transports. Now, this is how this works. The transports need to evacuate equipment and personnel that's currently in this position. So what you can see here, evacuation started at beta. Keep the transport inside the zone until it is completed. So what you're going to see here is that the points on the transports are going to tick up and the points in the zone are going to tick down. And once the transports have loaded up to 100, you can then pull them back. Get them over here and they drop, sorry, over there and they drop off their points and make sure that you get the points yourself. And I think about 750 points wins the battle. Now the M3 have arrived. I'm also going to bring in an HQ unit because I need to keep those M1A1s firing. Looks like we got contacts here, but I can't spot them. The Panzer Grenadiers are going to take the brunt of the fire here. And this sector is heavily pushed on, but it's going to be pretty tricky trying to keep them away from here. What I can do is smoke up my own unit Pro well, prolong their life expectancy at least a bit. And then I have the three M1A1s try to assist as much as they can and keep the enemy BTRs and BMP2s, but more importantly, the T64s at bay. 
There are smokes in position. Once this sector is cleared, so once the transports have picked everybody up, I can evac the transports and a different sector will appear. Right here. The sector is now gone. I can get these guys back here and then I'm going to send them over there. Uh, sorry, no, not over there. Here. Yeah, no, this is so an alpha. You do need to go there. I have 138 points. Um, did I already lose my other M3 group? Oh no, I just didn't call them in. I called in the command unit. Fall back. We got him. Get out of here. Immediately evac. I'm going to leave the Panzer Grenadiers where they are. As a sort of stopgap measure. Because I don't want to be engaging enemy infantry at short range. That's asking for trouble. New battle group or new task force coming in in 70 seconds. I'm going to have to make that infantry. Otherwise, I won't be able to hold the line here. Alright, these guys are retreating towards my supply point. That's not quite where I need them. But at least they'll be out of the fight very quickly. Because I didn't want them to stick around here with the BMP-2s. If your transports do get destroyed, then it's not the end of the world. Because the transports do respawn over here. And now you can see what's happening. I just got all the points from the transports delivered here. And now I can tell these guys to head over to Delta. Which is probably going to be a pretty risky venture for them. But I'm going to have to make do. Because I need these points. Task force in 30 seconds. Oh shit, the enemy's here. Looks like quite a bit of armor. Fall back. Let's see if the M3s can assist with their HGMs. There we go. The M3s are opening up with their ITOs. Looks like it's only the lead vehicle though. And the tanks are getting suppressed. But not terribly heavily damaged. Because we're getting pushed on by T55s and BTR-80s. Task Force available. Let's see what we can get. We got Task Force Sundance. M1A1 battle tanks. Task Force Fury M1s. Definitely cheaper. This is a group of four tanks with uh, frontal armor 18. These have only 16 frontal armor. And AP 16 versus AP 19. So they're definitely more powerful. But I'm actually more looking for an infantry group. This, for example, the M2A1, so Bradley's, with riflemen inside. And the riflemen are going to be able to do a bit of damage against other vehicles with the law, and the air defense might be required to keep enemy helicopters away. I also have uh, another task force which has not the M2A1, but the M2. These come with the TOW 2 HGM. These come with the TOW, uh, sorry, the ITO, so the predecessor. Uh, we got riflemen from the mechanized task force Coyote, and they got four M106s, ITVs, uh, M3, so more reconnaissance group. We got Apaches, oh lovely. 24 AP on Hellfires. That is one powerful helo group, but really expensive. Really expensive, that's 220 points. Keep in mind, those tanks were 245. And the tanks actually, I think, have a bit more staying power because they can take a hit. Whereas in Apache, I would rather not have that than the guy I'd shot at. We also got a combined group, I think. Yeah, this is a recon group. Recon helicopters combine excellent speed with improved reconnaissance. But it's vulnerable in combat, and it does have rockets, but not a whole lot of them. And they only fire out to 2200 meters. Now, you can also bring in the supports, of course. This is an A 10 that goes on a gun run. I also saw the A-10 go in with bombs, I think. No, it was an A-10 gun run. And finally, Kansas, Recon, Recon, Infantry. Oh, oh here, A-10 guided, 40 points. An aircraft launches precision guided munitions against a single target from long range. Right. Oh, it's tough. I want both the Apaches and I want the M-2A-1s. Because the M2A1s are fantastic at keeping enemy vehicles away. So let's bring in Mechanized Task Force Goliath. I have 174 points, so I can call in just one squad. And I want to do that about here. Because this is a nice open field. And from here they can engage whatever's out there with long-range missile fire. And anything that gets closer is going to get kicked out by uh, the autocannons. Now let's check on the units. 
Most of my units are healthy, with the exception of the M1A1s over here. But that is to be explained because they are heavily engaged. And of course, these are assisting. The transports are rushing to Delta, which is a bit of a risk at the moment. Keep falling back. Evacking Alpha. Oh shit, what's that? There's something else in there. Lovely. I got my other supplies or my other transports here ready, but I don't really want to move them out just yet. Let's have you guys assist. As for the time being, I don't know if there's any threat here. Area reconnaissance. If there is, then I need to reorient those M1A1s. No, there's nothing there. Whoa, the whole M1A1 group got destroyed. That actually went quite a bit faster than I'd hoped. T-72s, out of the woods. I need you guys to engage here, quickly. Those T-72s have to go. The BTR-80s are not terribly threatening. I mean, sure, you don't want those things around for too long, but overall, I can survive longer against BTR-80s than I can against T-72s. Your ages are dropping. I'm just popping smoke over here over my own transports to try and keep them safe. Evac complete, but with losses. There's only 53 points evacuated there. Now, it looks like the T-72s are on the run. So let's see if I can press my lock and put these guys out for good. Get the Bradleys over here. Get you guys resupplied and get the other transport out here. Oh shit, they're ransacking the position. Got BTR 80s coming in. Uh, let's see. Oh shit, you're full. You guys should be going over here. I didn't send them to the right extraction point. BTR 80s are still on the move. These guys are mostly healthy. Transport unloaded. Excellent. That was only the smaller one, though. Let's get these guys resupplied first. I want a full transport group before I tell them to go anywhere else. And I want you going over there. Uh, oh shit, here they come again. What you got there? Instead of... Yeah, it's a BMP-1P group. And we got BTR-80s right close here. Guys, it's time to kick out the guards. Twenty-four guards and a whole bunch of BTR eighties. Great. Now I have three hundred and sixty-nine points, so let's call in the other M1A1 group again. I'm gonna try and put those here. Um, I got another task force in a minute or so. Let's bring out the other Bratley group. I got eleven riflemen squaring off against. A bunch of guards. I need the guns from the M1A1s. Otherwise, I think that the M2A1s... Yeah, they're not going to win this fight. Not like this. There they are. They're falling out. Pulling back. That's my opportunity to get my transports in. Oh shit, that's a helicopter, isn't it? No, it's not a helicopter. It's a bunch of tanks. No, transports. Hold on. Helos. Definitely Helos. Heinz. Alright, bring in the Vulcan. I know that these guys do have some options against helicopters. If their NTR unit still survived. Alright, where are my transports? I got my supply here. The M3 is good to go. These are fairly healthy. And the extraction of Gamma is underway. I want the HQ unit moving closer. I want you guys to pack up and get back to the supply point. M3s over here. Tanks back to there. New task force available. Good. Time to bring in those helicopters. Uh, that's two Apaches. Helicopter team 242. 220 points for an Apache. Contacts. Alright, let's throw artillery down here. Because they are definitely going to be pushing this way. 
And this is the uh, DPICM, Barrage of Cluster Rounds. So I'm hoping to get rid of these vehicles before they become a problem. I'm thinking I might not be able to save that command unit here. Maybe if I... No. Crap. Alright, the artillery missed. Look at the size of that group there. Jeez. Those are what? 80s? 64s. Yeah, we got 64s and a whole host of transports. So it's going to get pretty damn busy here. And I don't really have too many units which can actively engage them. That is a big group. 178 points available. The M1A1s are still healing up. The Vulcans are in place. The M2A1s might be able to assist from over here with their autocannons and their ATGMs. Delta started evacuation. Oh, crap. This is recon. This is tanks, transports. Oh, you guys are going to... Okay, get out of here. Quick. All the way out to there. I want you guys to offload your infantrymen. And attack. We need to get these guys out of here. And we have to start falling back. Before I have no tanks to fall back with. Apache's good to go. And when I once healed up, enable. Evacuation of Sector Delta is coming in. And the Apache has arrived and is now kicking ass on the T-64s. 95% chance to penetrate the armor. Hellfire is going out. Killed T-72, or sorry, T-64. I want you guys to fall back. I did lose the M1A1. There's another BTR-80 group. Ah, there's, task, there's point Zeta. Transports fall back to here, and you guys pick up here. I'm at 405 points, and I still need to get a lot more. Uh, you guys get into the sector. The Vulcans have a decent position. I could do with a bit more reconnaissance here, but I'm constantly getting threatened by, well, everything. Get over here. 218 points. Time to put a bit more staying power into the field. I want you guys to resupply. And when I once are pushing the BTR-80s back. Very good, guys. The riflemen are getting resupplied. Vulcans are in a good position to defeat enemy helicopters as they are pushing up. I got my one transport group going here. The other transport group is going here and then there. Hold shifts and queue orders. Same as you might be used to. M2A1s, we're going to have to defend these guys up close. Transports arrived at Zeta. Evacuation proceeding. Okay, the M1A1s are ready. Uh, let's try and recapture this position. Transport unloaded. Very good. That's these guys. The Apaches are loading up again. I think they're just sort of hovering around until I give them another order. And they automatically get resupplied, which is quite neat. You don't actually have to land them like you do in Wargame. And when it wants in position, I have 223 points. Uh, let's see, what else could I need? Another command, or some another reconnaissance group here. Because the other recon group was working on getting healed up again. Here they are. Transports are almost done evacuating. Keep it up. Problem that I have over here is that I'm pretty blind. I don't know what's going on here because I don't have any reconnaissance units. So I'm trying to rush those into position. Here, contact. They're not actively moving though. Hold off. It is, yeah, they are actively moving. They're coming this way. Assume hostile intent. Stop. Oh shit. The transports are getting murdered. All the transports got destroyed. Oh no. That sucks. T-64s are coming in. I need the Apaches back on station. And I'm also getting artillery fire. Epsilon's starting to evacuate. 
There they are. Open up, guys. Oh shit, the Apaches are taking severe damage. Get out. Don't die, just get out. They're falling back to the resupply point. M1A1s and M2A1s are engaging. I have 319 points. Let's get another flight of Apaches in. This time at slightly greater range. Because it was a bit too close for comfort there. Now I should be soon getting another resupply uh, for the transports there. So then I can continue with my evacuation. Oh crap, these guys are getting murdered. Absolutely hammered. Fall back. The M3A1s are engaging whatever they can spot. Which currently is not that much. Um, evacuation is completing very soon. I need you guys to assist here because there is a massive group coming this way. Yeah, you don't say. Set up a smoke screen. Jesus, look at the size of that group. It's all riflemen. Apaches, get out of here. Uh, transport, get out. I'm going to have to bring my logistics units away from here as well. Quickly, preferably. Let's see, where are you guys at? Supply. Get over here. We have a new task force available. I think it might be worth getting a bit more armor in. Because I seem to be struggling with the amount of units that they put down. So just the M1s. They don't have to be terribly heavy tanks, they just need to be there. They need to be deployed. How many ones are coming in? It's going to take me potentially a bit too long before they actually get there though. Okay, the transport's complete. Uh, let's get these guys to assist as much as I can. Apaches are working on killing off BTR 80s, which is a bit of overkill. But I'd rather just have some kills altogether. Now let's just throw down all the artillery down here. That's the cluster. But they're fast. I hope that they're stopping here. And that the artillery barrage is going to kill most, if not all, the transports. Three, two, one, land. Jeez, look at the size of that group. There is a lot of cluster coming in. Fall back, guys. Fall back. Apaches are out of ammo. The other flight of Apaches is ready. I got my transports here. Well, I definitely hurt them. But we're not quite done. Give me another uh, group of M1A1s. Transports offloading. Apaches, engage. And when ones are getting suppressed. But I think we have them on the run. At least temporarily. There's artillery coming in from here. Ish. Leopard 1A4 is still trying to help out. That HQ unit has to go. Making sure that these are less effective. There you go. Well done, guys. We also have... What are you? Oh, you're multiple groups. Great. Transports are back in. I would love to get over to Delta, oh, sorry, to Beta, but good luck getting there. Apaches, assist as much as possible. And when I once move. Before you get completely suppressed. Replacement supply group has arrived. Ah, so they do respawn. That's neat. Apaches, preferably engage the T-72s. The transports are going to have to wait up for a second. I have 262 points. Um, at this range, infantry is not that useful. I'd say just another M1 group. And another one here. That's a lot of T-72s out there. No, 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 that's too far. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. As the enemy is getting into my resupply point, or my evacuation point, they actually start getting the points. 
Or rather, they're depriving me of the ability to get points. Now, I know I have a lot of points here, but I'm not really sure what to spend them on. My artillery strikes out for another 20 seconds, so I can't use that. That's a big group right there. Work on killing off the uh, BMD-2s. Because they generally come with HGMs. I have 135 points. M2A1s. Apaches are getting suppressed. Transports, get in here. It's going to be sneaky. M1s, push from the side. The other M1s fall back. I'll give you smoke. Left flank seems relatively secure. Oh shit, you guys are getting suppressed heavily. Fall back. Those Apaches are really handy right now. Alright, the M1A1 sort of survived. Get out, infantrymen. I know it's wide out in the open, but at this point it's the only option I have. BRM1K. Take that out. Missed. The other flight of Apaches is back available. 153 points. These guys are going to fall back. Otherwise, there won't be anything to fall back with. Evacuation completed in beta. Excellent. Get out of here. Go. The other transport group over here. We're going to have to get to Gamma. And that might just get me all the points that I still need. Apaches are once again ready. We're pushing the T-72s back. It looks like I'm taking big artillery fire here. Fall back. M3s are engaging with their toes. It looks like the Leopards have seen better days. Yeah, the Leopards are down. There's HGM fire going off all over the place. T-72s are getting hit constantly with another missile. Yeah, they're falling back. There's a Shilka out there, though. That has to go. If the Shilkas are here, I'm going to have a hard time bringing in the Apaches. <laughs> There's one point left at Alpha. Right. Push. Another group of M1-1s. M1s forward. Apaches. Resupply. Transports to here. Let's see, 87 points. Let's call another recon group. Another transport group. Well, they might be able to get one point out of here. But if I can get the point... Actually, no, we're going to go for full-on gamma. If I can get the points from that... I'll have enough. And if I can get another infantry group of sorts, that would be great. So I can cover my side over here. But it's not going to be easy. Alright, come on. And when I once arrived, transports move. You guys move. Contacts here, right flank. M1s fall back. M3s push in. Five minutes remaining. We are just about out of time. And there is another big wave coming in. Apaches are going to get their hands full. The M1s are taking severe beatings here. M1A1s, you seem ready. Let's get out. M2A1s, move out. 33 points evacuated. Alright guys, let's get them out. Oh sorry, you're not ready yet. Crap. Okay, apparently you cannot evac with two transport groups at the same time. There we go, after action report. I evac'd all of them. I didn't have to bring them back, but this is how the battle ends. I destroyed 135 units and I lost 69. I'd say that's more than a 1.01 kill death ratio, but okay. I think this is a really neat game mode. I think it's really good. And it really keeps you on your toes, because sometimes you're pushing forward, and you think, okay, this is going well. And then a moment later, the enemy goes, uh-huh, and we spawn in T-64s, T-80s, uh, BTR-80s, everything. And they're pushing you right back. So it's tricky, it's challenging, and I like it. I think it has a lot of potential. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section, and I shall see you guys soon for another video.